introduction. It was phenomenal. I'm afraid somebody squealed, though, that I was speaking today because I'm really disappointed in the size of this crowd. <laughs> but I'm with the show. How many of you have heard of Flash? He uses his superpowers to transform into the speed force. We've heard of Flash Lightning. We've heard of Flash Flood. But have you heard of Flash Type? Flash Type is a phenomenal typing contest where competitors knuckle down for some electrifying typing. This took place back in 1984. I was telling a couple of my younger co-workers about this, and when I told them that, they said, I wasn't even born then. Oh my gosh. I said, well, I'm sure you've heard of these typewriters where you go click, 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 ding, and you push the carriage back. They had glazed look in their eyes. And I said, well, it was like the rotary phone. One of them looked at me and said, how did you text on that? <laughs> Where do you store your contacts? I think, oh my goodness, what is this? I said, well, you must have heard of this electric typewriters. This is where you type, type, click, 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 and you hit a button, and it goes zzz, and it goes back to the beginning. You type the next row, and zzz, and it goes back to the beginning. They still had that glazed look in their eyes. So I said, well, this is what the contest was about. Competitors met and seen who could type the fastest with the most speed. But the main purpose of it was to raise money for Jerry's kids, muscular dystrophy. So I was working towards that goal, but I also wanted to be a fast typer. The day came along, we went to the Westwood Mall. We were sitting in front of Kenny's shoes, and crowds were all gathered all around us, people all around us. We sat at these little tables with our typewriters. The judge gave us our paper to type from, and we began. You could hear clicking all around the room, all around the area, it was just click, 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 click. The crowd's supposed to be quiet, but my kids in the back were saying, go, mom, go, mom. I could just hear them, and I'm trying to shut them out so I can type as fast as I can. The bell rang, ding, the five minutes was up. So I'm standing there waiting to listen. Who's going to win? Well, it was announced. Third place, second place. Fallon, oh, I'm in second place, yay. The other important part was the other girl was from Consumers Power at the time, and she came in first place. So we had two of the top winners in that contest. I think I came in second place because it was kind of cool in the room, and I had typo third me off. <laughs> so, but I did raise the most pledges that year, and I won this fantastic Brothers Electric typewriter. I was excited. I had gone to my coworkers and asked them if they would pledge money for me. One of the guys pledged a dollar a minute, somebody pledged 50 cents a minute, some gave me $10, some $20. But I had worked hard to raise this money. So the next year came along. It was 1985. Same process. We all gathered around in front of Kenny's shoes at the Westwood Mall. We all began our typing. My kids are still there. Go, Mom! Go, Mom! Even though I told them, shut your mouth. Don't talk through this. I'm trying to type. Well, they went on and on. Five minutes. Same process, they announced the winners. Third place, second place, I said, oh no, I thought I did better than that. What happened? Fallon Walker, number one, 97 words per minute. I was just ecstatic, this was great, I was first place. I didn't raise the most pledges that year, but I got a trophy. It was a trophy like this, but I got to keep it. I didn't have to turn it back into it. It was mine to keep. <laughs> The next year, when I got to the first place, a lot of my friends started sending me messages like this, you know, congratulations on being number one. The next year came, Consumers Power had a weekly newspaper. And they said, Fallon's keyed up to defend her title, and I was ready. They named me Flying Fingers Fallon. That was great. It was a phenomenal name. I thought it was super. So, once again, back to the typing, the Westwood Mall. We were all sitting around typing again, and they announced the winner, Fallon, number one again, 97 words per minute. I didn't raise as much money again because my friends were still afraid of that $92 they had to pay the first year. <laughs> so now this is going on, this is the third year. Fourth year, I'm number one again. So finally the fifth year comes along and they say, well, we're not going to be doing this very much longer because we're just not raising enough money for muscular dystrophy. We thought we could raise more than this, but we really haven't. So therefore, this will probably be our last year. I was heartbroken. We had been sitting in the mall, and it had been breezy all the time. We were typing, and we kept on going. So the fifth year, they announced the winners. 
Third place winner, Consumers and Plow Power Employee. Second place winner, Fallon. I was a little disappointed. I was down to second place. First place winner, Consumers Power Employee. These are my friends. We had all gotten together to do this. But I was still at like 94 words a minute. And come to find out, that was like three times faster than you had to type to be a, to get into Consumers Power when you took your typing test. Three times faster. That was just great. Well, I have my five trophies now that I got to keep. I didn't have to share them with anybody. They were mine. They displayed probably on my desk. But that year, I won the most pledges again. And I won a trip for two to Toronto. That was the great part of this one. So the first year and the last year, I raised the most pledges. That was something to be proud of. So we all think of these old typewriters. When we used to use them, we had to erase. And we can just let you create that backspace and the correct type form. Well, now we're used to fancy computers. The acronyms that people come up with or the kids use. Autocorrect. I hate autocorrect. I was typing my PEFD last week and I put in there, I'm a functional adult. My boss was reading it and she said, you're a fictional adult? <laughs> I kind of agree with you. That might have be what happened. <coughs> oh, well. And I had sent my nephew's letters at Christmas time. And I said, I really hope you enjoy your visit from Satan. <laughs> Whoops, it should have been Santa. <laughs> so that's what happens with that. So all I can say is through those five years of typing in the breezy middle part of the mall, we went on, I accomplished some good things, I raised good money for muscular dystrophy, I was proud of my titles, I was proud of my trophies. The only thing I'm really glad of is that I had flying fingers and nothing else was flying but my fingers. I teach a while. Thank you.